In the 15th century, long before telescopes or satellites, there was a city where science ruled stronger than kings, Samarkand, and inside that city stood the most advanced observatory in the world. It wasn't built by one genius, but three, a scientist king, a mathematical master, and the teacher who united them. Together they became known as the Samarkand Trio, Ulug Beg, Al-Kashi, and Qadi Zada Al-Rumi, the team that measured the heavens more accurately than anyone before them. Let us begin with Ulug Beg, the prince who didn't care about war or power. Instead, he wanted numbers, stars, truth. When other kings built armies, Ulug Beg built an observatory the size of a fortress, a giant marble arc embedded into the earth, so precise it could measure the tilt of the earth within seconds. No one in Europe had anything close. But even a genius king needs genius partners. Enter Al-Kashi, the mathematician whose brain worked like a modern computer. He calculated pi to 16 decimal places using nothing but pen and ink. He created new methods of trigonometry, discovered formulas still used today, and wrote the most advanced math book of the medieval world. Ulug Beg personally recruited him to Samarkand because he knew only Al-Kashi could handle the calculations the observatory demanded. And then came Kadizada al-Rumi, the elder scholar, the teacher. He trained both Ulug Beg and Al-Kashi, guiding their research, solving impossible geometric problems, and creating the framework for the observatory's scientific program. Together, the trio mapped the sky with accuracy no one had ever seen. Their star catalog listed more than a thousand stars, each measured more precisely than the famous catalog of Ptolemy. Their measurement of the Earth's axial tilt was so exact that modern astronomers were stunned. Their trigonometric tables were the most advanced in the world for more than 200 years. Samarkand had become the scientific capital of Earth. But brilliance threatens those who rely on ignorance. Religious extremists and political rivals accused Ulug Beg of loving science more than ruling. His own son betrayed him, and the scientist king who built the world's greatest observatory was murdered. After his death, the observatory was destroyed. Books burned. The golden age of Samarkand ended, but knowledge survives. Centuries later, when European scientists rediscovered astronomy during the Renaissance, they were stunned to learn that Ulug Beg and his team had already solved many of the problems they were struggling with. The Samarkand trio had been ahead of their time, far ahead. Al-Kashi, the human calculator, Qadizada, 